Hi, and welcome to Bonita's Kitchen, and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a tasty meal called stuffed zucchini. Now, these zucchinis was given to me by my brother-in-law, Raymond's brother. He's got this beautiful organic garden that's on the cliffs of air in Newfoundland and Labrador, right by the salt water. And he grew these this summer. And, well, the fall is when he took it up. So we had two available and I was saying, I want to stuff them. I want to show you this delicious recipe. One, uh, a part of the method was shared to me by my aunt, Clara, and I thank her for that. And the, uh, as I go, I'll explain it, what it is and how to make it. So if this interests you and you can't wait to make it, stick around and let's get started. these delicious zucchinis. You know what? I just rinsed them off with some cold water and just cleaned them down to get any soil off them. I've had them in my fridge for a week now just saying to Raymond, you know, do I make pickles? Do I make this stuffed zucchini? Of course, we got a recipe on there for um, uh, for zucchini pickles, so you can check that out. So what I'm going to do safely is um, cut this uh, zucchini down the middle Just using a sharp knife and go right down the middle until we get to the other side. Now this recipe I got here today is good for if you want to stuff two but I'm just going to stuff one in now just to show you what needs to be done and so the meat that's inside I guess the inside you're going to cut out and now not shave out, you're going to cut it out because you're going to use that as well while uh, cooking uh, the meal that we're, well the filling that we're going to put into it I should say. And it's ground beef is one of the other ingredients. We're going to fry it up with some onion and then I'll explain that to you. So I'm just going to get something now to scoop this up with and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. After you've used your knife, and of course, you probably have, picked, have taken the inside out of um, a zucchini lots. So whatever way you do it, that's the way to do it, of course. I'm just kind of uh, <laughs> hoping that I'm going to get it out without breaking this up, because I want to cut it in little tiny pieces. I want to use that. I want to fry that with my ground beef. So this is a delicious filling we're going to make here. Um, my Aunt Clara told me that years ago, she, when she'd get access to zucchini, she would fry up ground beef, put some onion and the zucchini back into the frying pan and then stuff the zucchini like this. But I'm going to make a sauce as well and we're going to top it with cheese. So of course everything cheese. So take out as much as you can out of the zucchini. What we're going to do is flip these over and now we're going to cut the zucchini into little small cubes because we're going to be frying them with the ground beef. And I'm going to show you that. We'll get over to the stove top and get the ground beef put in. I got about one to two pounds. Like you said, you may not need all of it. I'm going to stuff two, pe uh, two of those zucchinis, but I'm not going to do it on the show. I'm just going to do the one to show you. So this will be enough for actually two, and you might even be able to get three out of it if they're small. So that's all you need to do there. So first what we're going to do is turn our frying pan onto a medium, medium heat is fine and put a drizzle of olive oil. I'm using lean ground beef. You could use ground pork, ground chicken, turkey, whatever you like to do for your stuffing. So we're going to start that frying there on the, the stove top until it's partly cooked and I'll show you as we go. So while your ground beef is cooking, just move it around in your pan, of course, get all, all of the sides. And if you can't find a lean ground beef or it's too expensive, buy yourself medium ground beef and then just drain off the oil. So I'll tell you what to do next. Let's 
season it up. We're going to put a teaspoonful of black pepper, a teaspoonful of sea salt or salt of choice, a teaspoonful of onion powder, and a teaspoonful of garlic powder or fresh garlic, freshly squeezed, and just mix that through to season your ground beef. Now we're going to toss in there a large chopped I'm going to use a white onion, but you could use whatever onion you like um, cooking and eating, of course. Because it smells amazing in there, eh, Raymond? Mm -hmm. I just can't you wait. To put all this together to show you how awesome it is. Now, all of those delicious uh, pieces of zucchini, you're going to toss in there as well. And we're going to let it all fry together for just a little while until our meat starts to go a little golden brown. And when you see that it's starting to come together like this and reduce the zucchini cook down, of course the onions soften, the meat's starting to brown off a little. You get a little bit of liquid from it, that's fine, keep that because that's flavor. I'm going to take this off now into a bowl and we're going to make a sauce. Another drizzle of olive oil and about two tablespoonfuls of butter. Let that melt down a little. And now we're going to toss in there two tablespoonfuls of flour and let that cook in with the butter and the olive oil just a little. And then we're going to gradually add into it one cup of milk. You can have fresh milk, evaporated milk, whichever you got available. Or milk of choice, I should say. Pour all of that in. We're also going to add into it one cup of broth. Now I'm using air, a, veg um, a vegetable broth, I should say. You could use whatever broth stock you got available. If it's chicken, beef, it doesn't matter. Just pour it on into the mixture and we're going to top it with one cup of shredded cheese. I'm just using a cheddar, a gouda, and it could be a couple of more parmesan and everything mixed into that, but whatever cheese you'd like. Toss it in and make yourself the sauce. When you see that your sauce is starting to thicken, you said it don't take very long maybe five minutes or so once the milk and the broth eats back up what you're going to do is take all of this delicious goodness along with the juice that came from it and pour it into your frying pan and you're going to mix that around to get all of that incorporated together just like this. Delicious. So when you put your, your ground beef and your zucchini and onions back into the sauce, let it cook for just another little few minutes, probably five minutes, just until it starts to bubble. And then get yourself a spoon and taste your flavor. If you need anything else, add it. If you don't think you need anything else, it's good, but that tastes as really nice to me. Okay, Actually, what's your favorite word? Tastes? Delicious. <laughs> that's okay. my that's yeah. my word that Raymond is always, always yeah. making fun at me with it. So. Well, it's like that old saying, mm -hmm. scrub de lions. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is. Delicious. It's so tasty. I just, it's a meal, affordable meal, a del delicious meal. <laughs> and it's a gift from your brother. You so go. now let's take this to the counter. We'll scoop it into those zucchini boats. Okay, Raymond's getting a little bit pickier now. I'm going to give him a little taste in the bowl <laughs> because he said in the spoon is not enough to I sample it. I just want to make sure that it's, it's really delicious. Delicious, really delicious. <laughs> okay, I'm going oh, to end up firing okay. this oh, fine yeah. Yeah. young gentleman there. 
Well, anyway. I get to taste all the food, so <laughs> I got to say ta-ta for that, haven't I? Well, at, while Raymond is having his lunch over there, what we're going to do now is take up our mixture and we're going to scoop in two the zucchini boats we're with it scooped out now it's a boat and i'm going to show you what that looks like so scoop in as much as you can into it take in consideration that uh, the zucchini that's not cooked in under will run you'll see maybe this little bit will run uh, out it'll be a little little more liquid coming out but put it into a container like the pan like this with some parchment paper and that'll save it this mixture is enough for two maybe three of these stuffed zucchinis so and then what you can do extra juice that's coming from it in the pan I'm going to keep to serve with it when it's baked so after you stuffed it with as much as you can now because we're with this meal, we want lots in there. After you've done that, I'll show you what's next. Now what we're going to do now is drizzle some cheese over the top. And like I said, it's going to be down onto my board, the parchment paper, on the counter. Wherever now this cheese is going to fall, just put it on over. You can you can top it right now with some more seasonings if you want some salt and pepper, but cheese is a little salty, so you don't need much there. And again, any other seasoning that you like to use. So that's all you need to do with that. So now what you need to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to put this in the center rack in the middle and have it there anywhere from 45 minutes to one hour to cook off the zucchini that's there, melt down the cheese, get it all bubbling in there together. Make sure it's on a pan with some parchment paper or if you want to put it in a roaster uh, for drippings. Uh, also put some more seasonings over it if you want to. You can drizzle it with some olive oil, whichever way you like to serve it. But this is the way I'm going to do it today and I'll show you what it looks like when I take it out. Our stuffed zucchini is baked and now I'm going to take it up and show you what it looks like. Now just look at this delicious stuffed zucchini. You can have the full one for yourself which to me that would be like a lot but you can have, have it, have this as a four serving or you could make more. Just look at this, how delicious. Now can you see yourself making this delicious meal today? I'm so grateful that um, your brother shared his zucchini with us. Of course, we've been eating zucchini now for a week or more. I'm going to cut into it, add a little taste, and show you what it looks like. Of course, I get to pour out my tea as well, so we'll get to both. I also shared their um, our homemade bread, so I'll share that link with you because anything that we cook in the oven, bake, that got juice coming from it like that, we want to have some homemade bread to dip in it. Now just look at this. Look how lovely you can see it. Still just as juicy. I'm gonna take this big chunk of zucchini here. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Raymond. I can't wait for you to try it. <laughs> mm. Neither can I. <laughs> oh my. Now I'm gonna have a little bit of that stuffing. I get to taste that bread too, Raymond. I'm sorry. I know he's just he's just mesmerized. <laughs> mm. Drop the fork, delicious. Can't wait for you to make it. I'm gonna stop talking with my mouth full and have a sip of my tea. Plus, if you decide to make more, this stuffing again is enough for four or six or you can just serve it on the side of the plate or eat it out of the bowl like Raymond did. He was, he's gonna love this dipping his bread in the, the in the in the pan as well. And again if you want this recipe we're gonna post it in under this video. There's an arrow pointing down or see more. Um, and as well you can visit us on our website www.bonitaskitchen.com 
also don't forget to follow us on our Facebook page. We post lots of different things on there that might interest you. Today's meal we're serving with some vegetables and steamed rice. And as well, you can follow us here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will love to. Oh, well, and Bonnie, don't forget. If you're taking any photos of anything that you cook from the show, yes, send them to us for our viewers' pit picture. Exactly. Raymond you know. puts one together, usually once a month, but sometimes um, it's once every couple of months. But we share the viewers' pictures of our food that they cooked. And we're excited that you guys are, are subscribing, enjoying our recipes, and visiting us each week on Sundays. So we're not going to take any more of your time. Thank each and every one of you for stopping by. We know your time is precious. And we thank each and every one of you for, for sharing a little bit of it with us here today. On behalf of myself, Raymond, and our team. And from our kitchen to yours. Thank you and have a wonderful day. And don't forget to join us again on Bonita's Kitchen. I want my tea, but I also want to taste. <laughs> mm. And so do, so do I. you.